Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Pat the Dentist. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I decided to make this video about diabetes and kind of what does diabetes have to do with dentistry. Kind of the roles that dentists should be playing and also the big impacts diabetes has on the American life and the spending of US healthcare dollars. So you guys may be wondering, what does diabetes have to do with dentistry? Well, it has everything to do with dentistry because as the gatekeepers of the mouth, I believe dentists have a great responsibility in teaching people what they should and shouldn't be putting into their bodies when they eat and how that affects them. And aside from that, some other reasons are patients potentially being hypoglycemic in the dental chair and passing out, or people who have uncontrolled diabetes can potentially get an infection after dental treatments like extractions. So this is why it's kind of important to kind of dive into some of the facts about diabetes first. So first of all, what is it? So type 2 diabetes is the most common, with roughly 27 million Americans affected, and another 86 million who are pre-diabetic. Let that sink in for a moment. Type 2 diabetics are insulin resistant, and this means that people who have type 2 diabetes make insulin to control their blood glucose levels just like everyone else, but they just can't do so efficiently. Genes also do play a role in people getting type 2 diabetes. However, the lifestyle choices that people make are the main culprits, with that being obesity, smoking. So, if you guys smoke, please stop doing so immediately, and hookah is definitely included. It's actually worse than smoking cigarettes. A couple other things, stress and sleeping too little and too much play a role. Aside from the decreased quality of life that diabetes causes, it's also a huge, huge, huge drain on our economy and a significant portion of our healthcare spending. As of 2016, the U.S. spends $3.2 trillion on healthcare alone. That's huge, and that's more than any other country. But surprisingly, entirely preventable diseases like diabetes contribute to huge chunks of this spending, and if doctors and dentists and other healthcare practitioners could simply just educate people on what they should and shouldn't be consuming, as well as some simple lifestyle tweaks they should be making, we could tremendously help bring down those costs and dramatically improve the quality of life of Americans. So, look at this. Diabetes, as of 2012, cost the U.S. $245 billion dollars which was a 41 increase from 2007, a five-year period. So if we're to do a rough estimate for another five-year period where we apply a 41% increase to 2017, we end up with having diabetes costing the U.S. $345 billion. That's one disease alone, and that's not even the most expensive. I mean, we have more pre-diabetics in this country than most people than most countries actually have people. Hence, a huge reason why healthcare is so inefficient is because we treat the problem instead of preventing it. Now back to diabetes. 10% of all type 2 diabetics get diabetes purely due to their genetic makeup. Now, 90% of those type 2 diabetics develop diabetes through lifestyle choices. Even crazier is that 90% of all diabetics are type 2. So let's quickly do the math. So we have 27 million Americans who are diabetic, and 90% of those, which is 200, sorry, 24.3 million Americans with type 2. And 90% of those type 2 diabetics have entirely preventable diabetes, that being 21.87 million people in this country have diabetes that could be totally preventable. And if we were simply to teach people proper lifestyle choices, we can save an estimated $279 billion a year. Now imagine that for every entirely preventable disease in this country. The U.S. would have the most efficient healthcare system in the world without us having to do much. So how does one prevent diabetes, you may ask? It's easy. It's changing the foods you consume to help you lose weight, and that can drastically and dramatically decrease your odds of getting diabetes. So this means putting more veggies on your plate, more fruits on your plate. Try drinking a large glass of water 10 minutes before you eat so you feel less hungry. Also, exercise is key, plays a huge role. 30 minutes of light exercise 
is a game changer. Aim for two to five days a week, and the stronger you get, increase your level of activity and the amount of times that you work out. These two simple things alone can help people prevent developing diabetes and in turn improve the quality of their lives. I believe dentists and doctors have a huge responsibility to, pre to protect the public. Reason being, we took an oath when we first got into our programs, hence the term, do no harm. I believe failing to educate people is creating a perpetuating cycle of harm, especially when we as dentists, doctors, and other healthcare practitioners know the dangers. Everyone, that's it on diabetes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe, share this with all your friends, and follow me on Instagram at PatTheDentist. You guys all have a great day.